Welcome back everyone to CK2 Plus as Duke Charles de Valois, or well, Duke Charles Carling uh, of Valois. And um, yeah, we've actually joined our grandmother. We've gotten an alliance with her and joined her in a war, but that one is already over. She's just, we just saw this little battle here. She defeated her enemies uh, and uh, yeah, that's good, I guess. We did improve relations though, because we honored our alliance, so I like that. And uh, when I loaded in the game, we lost um, Jean, our uncle as the spy master he's still regent and heir and cupbearer and all the other things but he's no longer the spy master and that was actually pretty really cool because now i could make Entien, the count of burgundy um the the new spy master and he wanted that as well so he likes us quite a bit granted a county and a uh, few other things um i guess he should be happy that i'm that i granted his wish but Either way, uh, there's a new realm for one of the uh, nomads. That's fine. Doesn't really interest us too much. And yeah, Navara. Oh, look at this. Navara grew stronger. They have an arts archbishop who's joined them. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, I, I I guess that's nice. It doesn't really matter. But the crusade has. Oh wait, the crusade has come to an end. As he has been overthrown, the Christian faithful will be disappointed. Okay, so uh, the crusade did not fail, but it wasn't successful. It was simply that the despo was, uh, well, killed or overthrown. And now a different Sunni ruler continues to rule, which is interesting. I think if this, I mean, obviously if he had converted or whatever, it would have made sense for the crusade to end. But since it's still a Muslim ruler, I feel like the crusade should have just continued. So this is kind of strange, um, but I suppose the Christians are too powerful anyways. I mean, France was pushing strongly into Iberia. And I mean, yeah, Jerusalem has actually been freed by an Orthodox liberation revolt. And so, I don't know. I mean, there's an Orthodox kingdom here. There's an Orthodox kingdom here. Uh, the Shia have their own rebellion. Uh, the Copts are pretty powerful in the south. So it's really, the Muslims have basically no power house. I guess maybe Persia, you could see. Yeah. But they've got like 8,000 men. So I kind of want the Muslims to be a little bit more of a force. Because at the moment it's just... It's not really scary. Anyway, son was born to Lord Roland. Uh, interesting. Oh, but that's not good. That's a bastard. I see. Uh, okay. Well, we'll give him the struggle focus, I suppose. What else? really. I don't know. We are now, how old are we? 12? Something like that? Is that possible? We're 11. 11 years old. We're in the good care of our uncle, who's our educator, regent, and heir. Wow, it's amazing. Um, and there's another liberation revolt that has declared a war, uh, but it's only... Ooh, actually, that's pretty powerful. That's some 11,000 men. Uh, that could be interesting, but I think that the French king has enough forces to deal with this. Yeah, he's got 26,000 men. So unless he does something really, really stupid, he should be successful here. Uh, I thought I finally had a chance of winning a friendly duel during the swords training. My opponent clearly wasn't as comfortable with the sword as I was, and I had read our teacher's treatise through and through several times. For all his unease, my opponent showed he knew what end of a sword you are supposed to hold, and I lost once again. Good game. Uh, that is the bastard. Okay. How dare you, you, sir, have gained a new rival this day. I'll defeat you tomorrow. I think we'll go with this. I think this is what we will do. We're willful. Um, but, if, I mean, first of all, ambitious is amazing. But it also fits our character because, you know, we have that claim on France. Our father was the one executed by the king of France. It would just overall fit our character. And I feel like a willful... I mean, this could, you know, this could turn into ambitious, brave, or stubborn. So I feel like... Yeah, this sort of makes sense. Let's go for it. Um, I do hope that we're also going to get brave. That would be amazing. But I guess we'll we'll find out. Our coffers are doing well so far. The French forces are being destroyed. We need to pick in... Ah, well, what are we going to pick? Marshall? Learning education? Hmm. What would our guardian say? He would probably give us, like, this intrigue... Or the Marshal. Or the... Yeah, the learning focus isn't that good. Like, his strongest intrigue and then it will be Marshal. So, I feel like he's going to still give us more the intrigue focus. Even though we're not that good at it. I feel like... Kind of makes sense. 
for our educator at least. Okay, so the uh, the British forces or the yeah the the English forces of the French have been defeated so far, um, but there is ten thousand more men that might make their way over, or perhaps something that I wouldn't be too sad about uh, is if France would be uh, well, if England would become independent. I actually kind of want to see this because France is too powerful. Like at this point, who's gonna drop? Who's gonna stop France? A war between the Holy Roman Empire and France could maybe be interesting, but you know these empires—it's just—it's too powerful. It's too powerful. My marshal uh, told me about his ideas. Uh, I think we will adopt them, unless of course, your rivals. No, you're not. Your rivals with a wife. Okay, but I think this is a good idea. We'll just go for it. We are close to two thousand gold in coffers. I like it. I really like it a lot. And what's What's going on here? Uh, the Duke of... Oh, wait. Oh, you're Catholic. Are you... Oh, you're Valdensian. Interesting. And you are declaring a war, which you are losing. Okay. So it seems like... Okay, France has landed 10,000 troops. So it's 10,000 against 10,000. Whoever wins this battle, it's kind of going to be the most important thing. And uh, Alamanda has died. Under suspicious circumstances. So Jacques needs a new wife. Uh, okay. The Princess of Navarra. I feel like this fits the most. Because of your. I just think this is cool. Let's go for it. She's pretty young. But I feel like this is uh, this is a good fit. Just because you're so close. The Pyrenees and Navarra. It's just. It makes sense. If you marry. Okay, now, uh, Lord Mayor Winfrith expresses his wish to s have a seat in the council. Yeah, but... I don't quite think you're suited for that position. We can actually imprison someone because of that. Hmm. Just end your plot, please. Maybe that's okay. I gained a trait Erudite, which is actually good. That's extra learning. That's... Probably one of the better traits we could have gotten from Idolizer. And the other one would have been Zealot. Kind of glad we don't get that one. And now uh, we can become either brave or stubborn. Um, we'll have to see. A Qatar heresy has been brewing for some time. Begun by numerous ascetic priests, ascetic priests who espouse strange beliefs regarding there being two gods. A good god who created the spiritual realm and an evil god who created the material realm and all of humanity. And the reason why all humans are filled with sin, but... And the reason why all humans are filled with sin, but with the gathering of these priests at a council in the province of Carcassonne, the heresy has begun to spread like wildfire. At this council, the priests codified many of their laws and spread territories into bishoprics, and they have since gained many followers. This heresy must be stopped. That's interesting. Why do we have this person? Is a important character, I don't know. He's a member of the faithful, has taken the sacrament of consolamentum, thus purging them of their mortal sins and setting them on a path of zealotry, celibacy, and asceticism. Asceticism. I'm not sure how to pronounce that necessarily. But uh, let's check out the religion. Still majorly Catholic. The Qatars are spreading in southern France, which is important. I think this is how it happened historically as well. Maybe perhaps even around this time. Possible. And wow, France was actually losing this battle, but they've just sent major reinforcements and are now turning the tides. Okay, so once again, this liberation revolt is crushed, which I, I suppose is fine. Uh, do I want to make my spy master the master of hunt? Maybe the Count of Rouen. I like him more than my spy master, to be honest. Uh, I like you a little bit more, though. My cousin and chancellor. You know what? I'll give you the master of hunt. And then as commander, I will probably appoint this guy. I think he's good enough to lead our men. Yeah. So yeah, uh... My trustworthy cupbearer served the wine as always, and even though it did taste a bit strange, I did not reflect upon it until it was too late. The wine must have been poisoned by as what I feel this way. And now the stomach cramps convinced me of Lord John's guilt. For your treason, you will die. Okay. I can either kill my uncle, oof, or imprison him. Hmm. Stubborn, strong will doesn't obey or give way easily. 
Huh. Poison costs nothing more than stomach cramps, but he's imprisoned. I think we'll imprison him. Wow. And now we have our spy master, and Tian Sun is here. Uh, wow, he is regent. He has been, or his family has been regent for House Calling before, but that was Yudes when Yudes the Mad were. Ah, uh, damn, I'm saying it wrong again, but like when the first character, when Duchess Adele's brother was in charge, um, you know, A Sun is here was the regent as well. So, welcome back to that position. By the way, um, yeah, you're a spy master. You're just a vassal. You're not on the council, actually. And then Jacques, you're the marshal right now. Okay. We do have major estates. So, I mean, that's something, I suppose. We do need to appoint a new commander as well as cupbearer. Someone I like. Someone I trust. Yeah. I guess I trust you. You're paranoid. But I do like you quite a bit. Maybe the bishop. I would like you plus eight. I'll give you the cupbearer trait. And then for commander. Hmm. I guess I'll make you a commander too. There you go. So yeah, this revolt has ended. Yep. Orsulf the fearless has been defeated. And uh, so, yeah, England stays in French hands. I guess only if France is really involved in the big war against maybe the Holy Roman Empire, that would be the time for the English to rebel, and they might actually be successful. Other than that, I don't see the chance. Now, interestingly though, France does have some Muslim vassals, so that could potentially be a problem. Stuart wants to hire ruffians to bully the peasants. Um... I suppose so. Yeah, sure. I, I I guess so. We're not particularly greedy. It's kind of hard to say. I think in these kinds of circumstances, we'll simply have our counselors do what they think is best. Uh, perhaps I should have said what... Well, yeah, check my spy master. Well, he's not kind either. I guess we'll just let the uh, marshal do whatever at this point. Okay, we've got more than 2,000 gold. That's amazing. And... Uh, yeah, we might be able to soon start a faction. Still too young, but it will happen. Uh, let's just wait for it. It's going to happen soon enough. Okay, we've got a new regent, uh, a cousin. Now, he wants estates, and I kind of feel like he would give them himself. I mean, he's the regent. I guess he would just go, I mean, hmm, he's patient. I guess maybe he's just the minor estates. But he wants to have them, so I think he will grab them for himself. Just because he's in that position, he can. Okay, and uh, you are imprisoned. I can blind you, which I might do. Oh, I see. So, the Chancellor is the regent. I do wonder how he likes his father. It's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say. Would he release him? Maybe put him on a house arrest at, at the very least. He still tried to poison me. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll keep him imprisoned. Widespread rumors say that Pope Callistus II leads a most wicked lifestyle quite unsuitable for any priest. And even more so for one in his exalted position. Ah, oh, he's wicked. Well, you know what's possible? He's actually Polish. That's pretty funny but there's also still the Polish king bishop celebrate so the, the yeah the Polish people are in strong control of the Catholic Church at the moment uh, despite the fact that the Emperor has the Polish Pope vassalized they're still kind of the leaders and I do wonder how long it's gonna take for them to call for a crusade for Lithuania because that's kind of important for the Poles isn't it um, but there's a Qatar uprising that has declared their war. It's not many people. Well, it's pretty significant. 12,000 men could cause some problems, but they're going to lose a lot of them to attrition. Yeah, that's the problem. In the Pyrenees, they're losing men quickly, and 16,000 are already coming for them. Um, yeah, they're not going to survive long. And Jean Carling died in the dungeons. So we now have the other Jean. Actually, that may have been in his interests. So... I think that's okay. He's now the heir. He's not married. 
Maybe he should. Maybe the princes of Norway. Hmm, it's kind of interesting that there's so many Norwegian princesses open for marriage. Uh, hmm. He's, I guess he could marry this one. She's pretty old. Maybe the dwarf? He's patient. I guess he can wait for his wife to come of age. Um. You know what? I feel like he might marry... He might wait. I think he might wait. Um, and this Qatar heresy uprising has ended. But the... Yeah, and Toulouse has already been reconverted. So I think this is just gonna end. This is not gonna go anywhere. After the council meeting, our steward asked me to exchange a few words in private. Apparently, he has uncovered a rumor concerning a rare artifact. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, damn. I didn't actually mean to click that. Okay, I don't know what it said. I don't know. Do we have that now? Are we looking for rumor? We are. Um, well, I guess in that case, search for the artifact. Enjoy. I've never actually found an artifact as far as I'm concerned. Or as far as I remember. It's never really been particularly successful. But, I mean, maybe this time around it's going to be more successful. What's going on right now? There is a big battle. It's uh, Duke Louis Halfhand, Duke of Burgundy, attacking the Duke of Champagne in a rivalry war. It's kind of cool that you can declare wars there. Uh, I see that my coffers are overflowing that wealth is due to the long support of your loyal vassals and we hereby demand that it be shared ignore this reasonable demand at your peril okay so we lose 100 gold the prosperity faction is happy duke charles loses 50 gold i lose prestige and 50 gold declares war on the duke of kent and Count of Rouen. Ah, you're greedy. I see that. Uh, do we want these wars? I think our Chancellor wouldn't want these wars necessarily. I think he's also charitable. So he would probably give out that money. Yeah. And the tradition faction is now neutral. I know what I can do. And I have no reason to be afraid of anything. We are brave. Great. And you've inherited a title. Nice. So, we are brave and ambitious and diligent as well. I don't know when we picked that one up, but that's certainly amazing. And we can marry you two. Okay, perfect. And yeah, let's quickly check this out. Wow, we are turning out amazing. I love it. I do hope that we're going to get a nice education as well. Um, the Lord Mayor... Yeah, you know what? You are kind of getting on my nerves. Perhaps I want you as... Court chaplain? But you're not suitable for that position. No, I don't want you on the court. Now, I've been having these special feelings for a special someone lately. The strange urges to find myself embraced and close to another person. If I could only find myself alone with the carpenter's daughter, the fairy's apprentice, homosexual. No, I had better to keep these thoughts to myself. Uh, it's, I mean, I, I could make myself homosexual, but I just like, I mean, it... <sighs> There's no indication, necessarily. And we do have a friend. When did we become friends? But, you know, that's not the fairy as apprentice. That's a nobleman. Should probably make an important character. Uh, the carpenter's daughter? I think we'll just... Yeah, we'll just not go with any of this. It's, it's kind of hard to say. So, I'll just not go for it. I do wonder if this guy... Who has a claim here... If I could have him invited to my court. Yes. Okay. Let's get my friend to my court. And we'll see what he does. He's married to my courtier now. Okay. Well, she just arrived with him. Okay. Now, hmm, we'll just have him here for now. We'll we'll see what we can do with him. But I, I just want to come of age. We're 15. Once we have age, we can, first of all, we'll get our education. And then we can pick an ambition. And perhaps we can start factions to become king. And so on and so forth. It's going to be glorious. We definitely need a lot of friends. We need uh, support from the other vassals. Otherwise, it's not going to go well. We'll make you a commander for sure. 
And, uh... So, yeah. What's going on here? You're fighting. Okay, you're claiming the Upper Pyrenees once again. Suppose that's okay. You have improved... Well, we've improved relations with you. And... This person died under suspicious circumstances. Not particularly worried since I don't actually know him all that well. But you are a strategist, so I want you leading forces for me, please. Thank you. We're making some really good cash so far. And I would like to wait until May. I just want to, I just want to come of age and see what happens there. We can imprison Lord Juck because he wants to embezzle. But he will end his plot if asked, so I think we'll just go for that for now. Hmm. Very good. Very good of you. That was the right decision. And we can adopt the ideas, of course. Maybe what we should also do is use some of our money to improve the barracks. Heavy infantry and pikemen, I think, is much better. Let's do that. And then I could, of course, spend more money. Maybe we should do that. Training grounds, morale of armies, level reinforcement rate. Actually, I'm probably going to spend money here. Because we want to go to war, so we kind of need to be ready for this. Let's go with the training grounds. Yeah, let's let's upgrade our main holdings. We're going to have Buckingham not really upgraded that much. Um, and we'll rather focus on these provinces. And, oh, wow. Well, that actually paid off. We already have a little bit more prosperity in our lands. Okay. My court physician suggested I buy him some better surgical equipment. Sure, why not? I don't see why that should be a big problem. Hopefully, he's going to use it, though. If he just spend... Oh, yeah, he's actually he gained some learning. Perfect. It would have been terrible if he just squandered his wealth. That I would have been annoyed at. But yeah, so we've lost a thousand gold by building some things. But overall, I feel like that's okay. One more month and then we've come of age. Um... You have usurped the duchy, but this guy's still the count. Okay, so how strong is Aquitaine? Incredibly powerful. So, here's the thing. If Aquitaine joins us in the war to usurp the crown, we won. If they do not join us, it's going to be pretty difficult. Because, obviously, France has tons of forces. Don't know how many of them we send, but... You know, it's pretty significant. We could also... Actually... Oh, the King of Navarra is Qatar. Huh. That's interesting. So Jacques has two daughters that need to be educated, first of all. Okay, one of them is. How many claimants are to this kingdom? There's quite a few. Maybe I, I can give you that kingdom. But that's not going to be the most important part. Let's actually move up. I want to come of age. There we go. Our regency has ended. Um, and we are an elusive... Sh Ooh, that is exceptional. Elusive shadow. Really, really good. Uh, lack of ambition. Uh, that's fine. Now, let's see. I think we want to become king. That's probably our most important thing right now uh, however we are more of an elusive shadow so maybe we're gonna try and work in the shadows um, we lose actually stewardship for this let's go for it and then hmm Grand Duke skilled fighter independent fall in love becoming king is probably what we want let's just go for it and then Let's see what we have here. We can spy. We can kidnap him. Oh, well, 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 well. I think this should be pretty easy. Uh, King Juan for France. Adelaide. Where is me for France? That's kind of annoying. Duchess Isabella. Hmm. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Maybe there's a faction for me already. Duke Charles for France. Oh, there is. Duke of Alencon, Duke of Champagne are supporting us. So let's join that faction. And Duke Charles for England. That's the uh, Duke of Lancaster. So there's already people 
want and support us. I think France is the most important. We'll try and take over France first and then we'll see what we can do. But that will be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's it's We're getting closer. We're getting closer to our kingdom. Uh, anyways, as I said, that was it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time.